Hi, everybody. It's Chris, joined remotely by Michelle Cruz of the Mount Washington Valley Chamber of Commerce. How are you, Michelle? I'm well. Thanks for having me, Chris. It's a pleasure as always. We're going to talk about a couple of great things uh, coming up, the essential guide to the Mount Washington Valley that you guys are producing. I can't wait to talk about this. But first, let's get into the uh, upcoming chamber annual meeting. I understand it's a different format this year. It is. So we, you know, we know that this is a challenging time. And as much as we were hoping that we could do something in person just to, to stay safe and still provide information, we're going to go virtual this year. We're going to be using a Zoom platform. Um, we will still hold our annual meeting on October 27th at 6 p.m. And anybody interested in joining us, they would have to register and they could do that by going to mwvcc.org. And there's a link to our virtual, um, our virtual annual meeting. Uh, we do have a limit to um, the amount of attendees and anybody who's not able to make it because we know of all the different conflicts right now with Zoom meetings, um, we will be recording it so we can be able to share it with the rest of our members and anybody who couldn't make it um, after the meeting. Um, we'd like to thank our sponsors for hosting this, which is Chalmers Insurance uh, and Patriot Insurance. Um, we have D uh, Northeast Delta Dental and we have Memorial Hospital Maine Health, who are also going to be awarding our White Mountains Treasure this year. So that's something to you know really join us and find out who our recipients are this year. We're excited about it, um, and we're looking forward. Even though it's a different format, we're looking forward to being able to offer this. All right. During so our again, if you are a chamber member and want to attend the meeting, they have you have to register in advance, and you can do that on the chamber's website. Correct. Yes. All right. And. And uh, during our annual meeting, as everybody knows, one of the, the biggest attractions was our silent auction. We're still doing it. We can't do it in person, but we're going to go to another online format. And we've got tons of items. If anybody is interested in donating a gift certificate or an item to um, in, inform people about their business and what they do, we're happy to, to take them. Uh, some of the items are just going to... Uh, mention which we're excited about we have uh, an overnight stay at Omni Resorts we also have an overnight stay at Hampton Inns and Suites um, I'm just going to mention a couple others that we're really excited about uh, Cranmore Mount Resort they're going to donate uh, tickets for next season's mountain biking trails wow. so we're excited about that um, we're I mean there are tons of, of items there there's so many we cannot let anybody see the site though until bid bidding opens on October 27th. It's a multi-day silent auction. So the bid will uh, open on October 27th, close on October 30th. Um, the exciting thing about this, it's not, you know, obviously not in person as we mentioned, but when you make your bid, desktop, mobile device, smartphone, whatever you want to use, you're going to get a notification if you've been outbid. So if there's an item you really want, you can go right back to it and outbid that next person again. We're, we're excited about it. Again, not the same thing as being in person, but we're glad we're able to, to offer this. Um, so, so we're looking forward to it. Another thing that, uh, another item that we're gonna have included is uh, passes to Great Glen Trails. Nice. So there are a lot of things in there, gift certificates to restaurants, um, gift baskets. If anybody remembers last year or the previous years, Rebecca Miller who puts together beautiful gift baskets. There are these holiday gift baskets that we'll be auctioning off. So um, something to, to really check out and, and see. I love so that. And of course, that. when you participate in the silent auction, you're supporting the Mount Washington Valley Chamber, which has done so much. Your role has become uh, so big uh, in our community. Uh, it always has been, but especially now with uh, COVID and really helping this community, this professional community organize and adapt. Uh, to the current situation. And one of the things you guys are doing is you're putting together something called the Essential Guide to the Mount Washington Valley. I'm not sure if I have that full name right, but tell us a little bit more about this project. Yeah, so the Essential Guide to Mount Washington Valley Business People and Places is, is replacing the program guide that we've always had for the annual meeting. This is going to be something digital. So businesses can still advertise in it. Um, and the good thing about it is that it's going to be year long. So we'll be sharing these ads throughout the year through various uh, advertising platforms and social media, our email links, um, uh, Facebook. So we'll be putting this information out there. But also in this essential guide, it's going to highlight the work that the chamber has done over the past year. 
We're also going to share stories from businesses and what they've experienced in, in the recent situation with the pandemic, as well as offer resources. So this digital guide is going to be something that will be updated and available again throughout the year. We're really excited about this and, um, and, and glad that we could still offer something. You know, everything is, as, as we know, is going digital, but we're trying to look at the upside and how we can get the most out of this to really support the community. Um, you know, it's, it's been a tough year and, and we're going into a season that we know will still be tough. And, and so we want to be there to support the community, provide whatever resources we can, and, and know that we're in this together, understanding that this is challenging, but we want to be able to, to be there to provide for, for the businesses in, in the community. All right. Michelle Cruz, Mount Washington Valley Chamber of Commerce, thank you so much for joining us and sharing the information. Anything else you want to say to our audience before we say goodbye? Yeah, um, I, I do want to say, you know, thank you to the community who has just, it, it's, it's amazing what everybody has done and how everybody comes together. Um, so, so, you know, if there's anything that we can do, again, we look forward to having our members, businesses, whoever it is to contact us and let us know what we can do to help. Um, and if anybody's interested in getting involved in the uh, silent auction, if you'd like to donate an item, let us know. You can reach out to Rebecca Miller who she can be um, contacted at 356-5701, extension 300. And anybody interested in getting involved in our essential guide, you can contact me, or you could also go to our webpage at mwbcc.org, and that gives you all the information, the details about what we'll be offering. All right. We are all in this together. There's no better time to be a member of the Mount Washington Valley Chamber of Commerce. And I know you guys have a lot of uh, new things coming up. We're going to have to have another interview with you uh, coming up shortly. So, Michelle, thank you so much for joining us today. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Chris. All right. You're watching White Mountain TV.